All right, scooch back towards me. Let's play with these grips. So, if I thread through here and get my forearm on the neck, I can drop it here, grab forearm here. This can allow me to push, pull, kind of create this retraction. As I come back down, I can flip my hand up if I need to re-grip. Go back down, go up, pivot to the side. Going way faster than I normally would. The other side. Scoop the head. Again, if I need to regrip. I can kind of pull my arm here. Flip it back up here. This is the other one. I'm just kind of straight up gable grip. All right. So then if I go here, well, also, what's interesting, the further down the line here I get, whether I use this grip, this grip, this grip. That's awesome. Is then the other factors are spinning the arm here yep. to here. Or not getting specific with your work. Like if you're not doing like, you know, contacting between like the joint space of like C2 to C3 or whatever, and you're just being more generic with it. I've, I've started the top hand in front and should have been superficial. Well, I guess it depends what chain you're talking about. So right now, I mean, if I start at the opposite, it'd be, it'd be like this, here. That's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. Oh, okay. That's, that's what we're going for. Here, into it, and then rolling. Yes. That would be yes. 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 Here. Ooh, transition. That was awesome. 